Oh. Hello mga kasubs and welcome to the Sarsicos TV. You have me, Mark. And welcome to the weekend. <laughs> Uh, what we have is a recommendation from our good friend David Gilman. Marang salamat, David, for another Frank Zappa treat. And uh, I don't. So this is something you'll have to explain to me. Uh, so I, how I understand it, the title of the song is apostrophe, and then it is from the "Don't Eat the Yellow Snow Sweet." Is, is, is that how it is? It is, or is it? is the album apostrophe and the song is anyway how, so how i understand it apostrophe is the title and then uh the don't eat the yellow snow sweet is like a part of an album or maybe the name of the album anyway feed me uh information about that <laughs> so uh so david also shared uh so yellow referring to the color of snow uh or the color that snow turns into when you uh, pee on it Thank you for the graphic experience. <laughs> no, actually, I appreciate that because, of course, here in the Philippines, there's no snow. Although there were, uh, you know, occurrences or anomalies where act uh, ice actually fell out of the sky. So it's, it's supposed to rain, but rather than like droplets, it's like solid ice falling. But it's not basically snow. Um, before we give it a go. Okay, so. Sorry. Um, before we get to go, just quick thank you to all our viewers, subscribers, members, and sponsors. Um, marami, marami salamat sa inyong support. So, I, so the reason why I was apologizing because I just passed gas. And of course, it's, you know, while you're, as you take in medi your medication, you know, I think it's part, uh, it's normal to, you know, uh, pass gas more often than when you're not under medication. Anyway, Without any further delays, let's give this song a go in three, two, one. I was an Eskimo The frozen wind began to blow Under my boots and around my toes Frost that bit the ground below A hundred degrees below zero And my mama cried And my mama cried from commercial. Strictly commercial. Had the unmitigated audacity to jump up from behind my igloo. And he started in the whipping on my favorite baby seal with a lead-filled snowshoe. I said, oh, with a lead... Let's 
snowshoe. snowshoe. She said peekaboo, peekaboo. with a leg. Built snowshoes. He said peekaboo. He went right upside the head of my favorite baby seal. He went whap with a lead built snowshoe and he hit him on the nose and he hit him on the fin and he. That got me just about as evil as an Eskimo boy can be. So I bent down and I reached down and I scooped down. Gathered up a generous mitten full of the dead lead. Yellow snow. The deadly yellow snow from right there where the huskies go. Whereupon I proceeded to take that mitten full of the deadly yellow snow crystals and rub it all into his beady little eyes with a vigorous circular motion hitherto unknown to the people in this area, but destined to take the place of the mud shark in your mythology. Here it goes now, the circular motion. Rub it. again. Great googly moogly. I jumped up and down the chest of a... I injured the fur trap. Well, he was very upset, as you can understand. And rightly so, because the deadly yellow snow crystals had deprived him of his sight and he stood up and he looked around and he said I can't see figure out what he's going to do about his deflicted eyes. And it was at that precise moment that he remembered an ancient Eskimo legend wherein it is written on whatever it is that they write it on up there, that if anything bad ever happens to your eyes as a result of some sort of conflict with anyone named Nanook, the only way you can get it fixed up is to go trudging across the tundra mile after mile Trudging across the tundra, right down to the parish of Saint Alfonso. <laughs> yes, indeed, here we are. At St. Alfonso's Pancake Breakfast Where I stole the margarine And wheedled on the bingo cards And blew a feel tree I saw a handsome parish lady Make her entrance like a queen Why she was totally chenille And her old man was a marine As she abused the sausage patty said, why don't you treat me? At St. Alfonso's Pancake Breakfast, where I 
stole the margarine. And that is the end of the song. I I I almost for um missed that xylophone in the ending. I was about to pause because it was uh, a fading track. I mean, the song finished by fading it. So I thought there's no, nothing further. Yeah, but anyway, it it sounded to me like a back to back song because of the sudden change at around six minutes forty five, referring to uh, Alfonso. So. Let me know in the comments, you know. Uh, so apostrophe seems to be the uh, name of the album, just judging from this one. And then the sweet, uh, don't pee, or don't eat the yellow snow sweet, is the uh, name of the song. So sweet meaning, uh, I, I, I say it's because uh, of the things that are happening there. Maybe, maybe I picked up only two potential songs but it's actually a um how, how how would i would how would i describe it just like an encyclopedia you know uh, so when you buy an encyclopedia there are volumes and then volumes which are divided by uh, by by alphabets but this one is more of it's a suite but it comprises uh, i think the uh, uh aspects of the story so it's like the first suite is uh, so the first part of the suite is about, uh, let's just say, about the the fact of you know the fact that you should not eat <laughs> the yellow snow, and then the second suite maybe perhaps a little more background on the uh, person you know, it's it's uh, something like you know uh, of course it's common it's common sense not to eat something like especially something that you see on the ground, and something that is. The, uh, 
different from what you are not accustomed to seeing. So usually when we say snow, the color that you think of is white. So when you see um, it being color yellow, then of course it it should your brain should tell you something like you know something's off. And secondly, uh, again not not just common sense, but also you know your uh, yeah it's still sense <laughs> the sense of smell. You'd probably smell that the, it's it's different <laughs> from the usual smell of snow, which is supposed to be like nothing. So yeah, but let me know in the comments. Ha, uh, fill me in on the, that particular part. So what I like about the song, I dig the intro, but it sounded for me, it sounded more like a summer tune, the, the intro. Because uh, when I think about snow, uh, I feel about, uh, I think about co uh, coldness, uh, being warm blooded, you know, it's more of like a bedroom weather, you'd like to hibernate, you'd like to tuck yourself in bed. So it's not more of being uh, unlike in the summer. <coughs> Excuse me. Blood is flowing. You're pumped. You're energized, and you you like to be playful and, and stuff. So this um, base base part or the intro, I find it like playful. But then again, it's uh, it's not just about being physically playful. Of course, your mind can be playful as well. Like for example, yellow snow. Sometimes you you get to think, you know, what can make ye snow yellow? So so your your mind starts to play about uh, certain scenarios. Let's have a listen, a quick listen to the uh, intro. I dig the intro. So here's the uh, like the snow storm or something. <laughs> Another thing I like here, the the drum spacing. So the drums. Uh, switch between the transition between fast and slow while um, uh, Frank is sing singing you can hear the clapper go tick, 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 back, tick, 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 back, tick, so it's fast and if it's and if it's not that verse part it's actually slow let's have a quick listen to that nice drum piece okay. under my boots and around my toes and then it stops it's like alternating with the tunes and with the singing so very cool drum very tight now let's move to two minutes into the song because it reminds me of a particular song which i forgot because i just abbreviated it so let's see if i can if if by listening would uh, jolt my memory with a tear in her eye Watch out where the huskies go, don't you eat that yellow. So that part where they sang together in unison, it rem it reminds me of Angel in the Centerfold. Like, okay, let's just go back there if it's... Watch out where the huskies go, don't you Snow. Watch out where the huskies go. Don't you eat that yellow snow. Now, uh, so what I was saying about, uh, I wrote relaxing because when you, uh, it's like what when, when, when I watch a movie, uh, I, uh, when I binge, I, I um, for example, I watch a like a, a psychological mind-bending movies you know it really drains you as it, it entertains you but it also drains you because you you have to think a lot about the, the movie for you to understand it otherwise you'll have to watch it again so pretty much like a song if if the uh a, a song can be uh uh like cryptic slash unhelpful <laughs> like you really need to pay attention to the to everything uh for you to have a good a good uh grasp or grip or yeah, grasp of the uh, the song, but with with Frank's song song, it's still technical. It's 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 uh, um, it has some. I'm not sure if it's because it's cryptic, or because there's just a lot of things to uh, going on that you you have to like focus here and then there and there. You know, there's a lot of things going on that you know, uh, paying attention is quite a challenge, especially for those who are not. Um, accustomed or who has not been uh like 
listening or uh, acquainted to the, the Zappa style of uh, song songwriting. But um, what I what I uh, personally I find his style as yeah it it ha- there's a lot of things going on, but you know he has that helping hand. It's like habi- having a a subtitle, if I may, as you listen to the song. He uh, he sends the message. He uh, plays technical, you know, tech, the technical aspects of the uh, instruments, but also he paints the picture of a story as well. So as you listen to the song, you have that. He gives you that ability to close your eyes and then visualize through his music and then paint that thought uh, while you're, as you uh, listen. So in a way, there's that, um, uh, how I would say that, his uh, his songs can sort of have like those training wheels. There you go. So it's it's still listener friendly, even to those who have not yet been uh, 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 for first time, let's just say first time listeners or for those who haven't been uh, uh, exploring more of his um, songs. But but uh, the thing is about that, it keeps you wanting to to listen to more of his music. Now uh, around 6:45, this is where the song actually changed. It for me, it it, it 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 would not feel that it is a progressive uh, music, but more of two songs being played together. That, that's why I thought about the the suite as part of the title because it's like, uh, by um, he in this particular uh, song he. Uh, he also add like some sort of like backstory. I'm not sure if I if I'm making sense. So please put in the comments what you think as well. Eight minutes twenty is a weird sounding instrument. The thing is about weird sounding instrument. I always point it towards keyboard. I would always think it would be it would have been a keyboard, but because for me that is the uh, most uh, tuner in or inst- uh, musician friendly instrument because you know the effects are already built in there. It's just a matter of pushing. Uh, keys, unlike the guitar, where you have to buy actual pedals separately. But again, I may be wrong. Let me know in the comments. Eight minutes forty-three is the funky part. Let's let's have a go at that uh, nice funky part. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, it, it's it, there's a lot of things going on. It's it's like when you focus on one, it's like a, a boat that has a hole. So you you see one hole coming out, so you pay attention there, so you figure that out, and then you realize that there's a hole on this other side, so you put it there as well, and then you 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 then realize that there are a lot of holes to pay attention to. So just like this one, there's a lot of things uh, going on, and it's for me, it's just a matter of uh, perspective or maybe. Um, familiarity, I guess, when you're once you have uh, dived into that foxhole and you're familiar with the uh, the territory, then it uh, listening would be a uh, much more easier and much more of a pleasure because it's like getting to know a uh, a person. So there you have it. That is my reaction. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments if you haven't done it yet. These are the stuff you can do to show loving to our channel. Please do as many as you can. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about the SARS-CoV-2 TV. Sharing is caring. And most importantly, stay safe, everyone. I'll see you on the next video.